Alright, we got a lot of Uncanny X-Men. There's a nice J. Scott Campbell variant. Uh, modern, second print. Uh, this volume only went to 22 issues. No major thing happened during this run. Um, not that I know of. Rosenberg, LaRocca. Um, number 11 was an extra size one. There's a few variants. Star Jammer's cover by uh, Marquez back there. There's a female variant. Oh, yeah. But, you know, X-Men people want their uh, their runs complete, so they'll hunt out those books. Uh, first Ozymandias during that Joe Madura run. First Joseph. Um, a big fan of uh, Joe Mad. First mention of uh, Onslaught. The um, promo. This came with the Wizard magazine. So it wasn't, like, super tough to get. First full blink and skin. First Monet St. Croix. First full phalanx. I love this villain. Um... And there's the cameo of the phalanx right there. Everyone likes these hologram covers. That storyline, Fatal Attraction, is a popular one. First Maggots. Some Kubert stuff. Uh, John Romita Jr. I feel like that's the first appearance of this guy, but uh, offhand, I'm not sure. Um, Executioner's Song, they generally sell as well, you know? People still hunt out uh, the classic storylines. Uh, Legion Quest was a big one for me back in the day. I'm like, ah, they killed Professor Xavier. Uh, Chris Pichalo, who was in our store not too long ago. Love his X-Men covers. Um, this run, the Chuck Austin run, um, people pick it up here and there, but it's generally kind of bypassed by a lot of uh, collectors for Stacey X. stuff. Uh, Ramita, that's the death of Ileana. First legacy virus, that was a big thing ongoing throughout the, the series. Uh, Executioner, first appearance of him. X-Men, X-Men, X-Men. Uh, Will Sportacio stuff, first full Bishop, first cameo, first Trevor Fitzroy, futuristic people, you know. Uh, he took off over after the Jim Lee run here. Get some of these back in stock. Always love this cover. Uh, this one ties Wolverine to Captain America back in World War II. Uh, some Inferno stuff, classic cover, nice high grade. I love the brood stuff, alien um, monsters, I love them. I uh, love them. Uh, first cameo of Mr. Sinister. This is your first Wolverine versus Sabretooth. First full Marauders. New stand, nice uh, anniversary cover. And the first cameo of the Marauders. First baby Cable. There's my Marvel Milestone Edition. Uh, nice high grade first Gambit. Uh, some more of that modern stuff. Pachalo, love that cover. First new X Force that had um, X 23 and Wolverine on it. And Deadpool? Was he on there? And another one I love, uh, first full Colossus Juggernaut. I would love that action figure. I don't know if they made that. And this uh, Toronto Fan Expo exclusive, back in the day when they did exclusives just for that one uh, store, if you were a VIP ticket, or that one show, if you were a VIP ticket holder, you could get these things. So it would be one per ticket. It's a tough find. Um, yeah, you rarely ever see it. Uh, Null is part of the Silver Surfer Black, and so it's a really cool thing with Null coming out. Jack of Hearts, nice high-grade set. And we have a high-grade Canadian price variant set. Uh, number four, super high-grade. Army of Darkness, 1 in 10 variant by Sightum. Obama and Ash. Um, complete Dracula, nice uh, Cassidy covers, 1 to 5. And I've heard good things about this Lone Ranger run. Um, second print for one and two. Um, the variant for number three. And they're all uh, John Cassidy covers who just passed away. But these covers are awesome. But apparently the story is really good. Um, and there's not a whole lot of Lone Ranger stuff that's modern, you know. Uh, this is volume two toward the second last issue. And there's a Lone Ranger in Tonto number one. All right. That's all I did yesterday. But uh, more to come today.